Today we're going to build this accordion project using HTML, Tailwind CSS and a little bit of JavaScript to toggle the items. This challenge is on iCode this and before we dive deep into the code, I highly recommend you to give it a try yourself. As mentioned, this project is on iCodeThis.com, which is a platform we've built that aims to help you improve your coding skills by building daily projects. That means that every day you come to the platform and there's another daily project you can try to build and improve your skills. We already have over 4,000 developers. So be the next one to join. Just click the button, join challenge, enter your email and you'll receive a link which you can click to log in. If you don't have an account, we'll create one for you. All right, as you can see, we have the starting boilerplate which already has Tailwind, so we don't have to worry about that. And we already have a wrapper for our elements. So we just need to modify this a bit. Instead of BG purple, let's use gray 100. We're going to flex everything in the middle, perfect. Now this one is background white, all right. Let's make this text black, okay. And remove everything inside the cart, just so we have something to work with. And probably we'll have to play around with the padding and spacing and all that. So for now, let's keep it like this. So we'll have the H1 with the text and underneath that, we're going to have other text. Okay, let's style it, class text 3xl font bold and text center let's change this width of the card to be i don't know maybe 600 pixels we can use custom properties here in the brackets in tailwind and to make sure it doesn't go off screen on mobile we can say max width full which will keep it in the bounds and for the paragraph let's have text center as well MI4, a margin, and we'd like it to keep it between, as you can see here, it's fixed width. So it doesn't go across the card. For that, we can limit it with max width MD. And as you can see, it has a fixed width. And all we have to do now is do MX Auto and it will be centered. All right, perfect. With that out of the way, we can focus now on the accordion. Let's have a wrapper and we'll have an accordion item. This is a special class we're going to use in JavaScript to toggle each accordion items. It's not part of Tailwind CSS. And inside here we'll have the header and the part which will be hidden. This one also will have a special class toggle which we can target so we know that this is the div we want to hide and show. And by default, let's add some text in it like that. We can add break lines just to make it split out like that. And this will be the header. And for the first one, we have when and how it should be used. When and how it should be used. We just have to style this, adding two, text, cell, and we also want to add cursor pointer to it. So whenever we hover, it shows that it's clickable. Actually, we can move this to the entire wrapper because this is where we're going to have the click event on. Good. We're going to have a padding too here as well. So everything is nicely aligned. And inside this, we're going to have an SVG. I'm going to tabler icons, getting the plus SVG. Where is it? There we go. Copy SVG and we paste it in. We don't need those classes. The nice thing about this SVG is that it has two paths, the line which goes horizontally and the one which goes vertically. And what we can do is if we remove this first path, we have the minus. So we can add a class of a line and then in JavaScript, we're going to toggle this class. That way we go from plus to minus, plus when it's closed and minus when it's open. And now we need to align these two, the text and SVG. So we can do that with flex justify between to keep it nicely on that side and let's make the border nicely here on the svg class border rounded pull and we want just a little bit of padding as you can see it kind of pushes the svg so we'll have to increase the size to let's say 30 and look at that nice and by default this div which is the container which is hidden well we want it to be hidden and it's perfect so whenever we click now we should reveal this hidden field so let's do that in javascript keep in mind we have the accordion item class which we're going to target this line class which is inside the accordion item and the toggle class which is again inside the accordion item 
So in the JavaScript, we can get all the items with document, query selector all, accordion item, and we can loop over it. Items that for each item, we can add an event listener, click, and here we need to take those two elements. Well, actually the line inside the SVG and the div which holds the text. So the toggle is item, we get the query selector from inside the item, toggle class, and we get the line, item, query selector, line. And we simply just toggle the hidden class on the toggle, class list, toggle. Well, it's both toggle. This is the toggle element and this is a toggle function on the class list. And we toggle the hidden class and again, the same thing for the line. And now if everything's correct, when we click, we should see the accordion and we click again, it will disappear. And also the minus will appear here as you can see. Well, actually the line will disappear. So that's pretty much it on the JavaScript side. All we have to do now is to copy paste this a couple of times. One, two, three. And of course, change the heading here. Okay, you'll see one issue arises. Because we're using flex and this text is full width, it kind of pushes the SVG a bit. So it's a bit oval, not rounded. We can fix that by adding on the SVG a class of, let's figure out which one is it, the one with long heading. So this one, we can add flex none. That way it will not shrink. Let's just copy this over to all the SVGs because who knows, we might change the text in the future like that. And the last thing in the design, if you're looking, the text is kind of grayish if it's not active. So we can do that as well. On the accordion item, we can do text gray 500 by default, and we can toggle this as well. Let's add it everywhere like that. And in JavaScript, we just, again, do the simple toggle on the item. Class list, toggle, text gray. And it will become black because the parent has text black. Look at that, pretty nice. Good, we're done with the items. Let's add the border. This will be added on the wrapper of all of them. Tailwind has a nice class for that, which is divide y2. Basically, it will add a border size two on the y axis. Very nicely there. Maybe we also need some spacing. Space y2. Look at that. Pretty cool. So now whenever we open them, we see the entire description. We might need to add margin top 15 here to have some more spacing and let's see what's left hmm. the padding seems a bit off but on mobile it seems good so we just want to add md padding 16 make it a bit bigger on bigger screens good and on mobile it still looks very good and as for those circles behind them well we can add them using position absolute so we'll have a div, which will be, let's say, BG purple 700, because purple, width 96, height 96, look at that, and rounded full. But we want it to be hidden behind the cart. So we can do absolute, top zero, and left zero, but it's now relative to the body. So we need to add a relative class here, and it will be relative to the cart. And by adding minus Z10, playing with the Z index, we hidden it, it's behind the cart, but we can see it because it's right here on the edge. So we can do minus top 12 and minus left 12. And there you go, we have the circle. Let's add some opacity, pretty cool. We can add a couple more and we just play around with the top, left, bottom, right positioning. Perfect. And now we also have those circles and we have working accordion and we're ready to submit. Awesome. And if we're going now back to the dashboard, view all submissions, we can see all the people who built today's project. Look at that. So many variants of the same project. Okay. Now here's the challenge for you. As you can see in the design, there's something we haven't added. It's this read more button. And this button should reveal even more text when the accordion is open. So here's the challenge for you. Create this project, 
and then add the read me button. When you're done, feel free to join the Discord link, which is here in the footer, and share the project with us.